Okay, in this quick tutorial, um, we're going to cover reflections in a horizontal surface and in a vertical surface. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to, in a um, horizontal surface, it's really quite easy. We take um, any vertical lines and we just follow them straight down towards you. So uh, reflections always come towards you on a vertical surface. So we follow that down to the same distance. Um, this one will be a little bit longer. And so I'm going to get this shape. As you can see, it's important to notice is that these lines are converging. That's because this line here is shorter than this line here. And that means these lines will also converge. And that's what will make this look like a reflection. So take care of that. Um, with a cylindrical shape, basically you can work it out from the um, rotational axis in the middle. Same distance down, so it's that length. And then you can draw another horizontal line just like you would be drawing a cylinder down into the ground. And remember, an ellipse will get rounder further down you go. So that is the trick. That's what's going to make that look like a reflection. Okay, so um, that's really quite simple. The, the tint, the tone will be a little bit um, lighter than... Um, the thing that's being reflected. Another important thing is that if this is a color, it's going to reflect partially in the color of the surface and, um, and less in the color of the object that's being reflected. So if this was black, this would might be a little bit darker, but it, it wouldn't be black, completely black. If this was a mirror, then it, it would. Okay, so that's fairly simple. Um, on a vertical surface, it's a little bit more complicated. So um, we have to take into account the, um, the, the angle of incidence. Um, basically that means that the, when you're looking at something, the reflection is, is reflecting, it's bouncing off a surface. And just like a billiard ball would bounce off something, or if we're looking at um, a... Uh, if you're, reflection is going to do this, it's going to bounce off any surface. So um, surface that's facing up is going to reflect um, the sky and a surface that's facing down will reflect ground. This surface is going to reflect these edges. So anyway, what you need to do is, is work out the angle that's perpendicular in perspective. So I'm going to use this line as my guide and draw a line to the surface that's going to be reflecting. Then I'm going to take into account that angle. I'm going to follow that through, basically double that length. It'll be a little bit shorter because of um, foreshortening the perspective. Okay, so this vertical line is going to be here. Um, now if I take this one, so basically I'm going to have to work out how this plane is reflected in this surface. So again, I'm looking for the bottom edge here of that reflective surface and I'm going in perspective perpendicular. So I'm looking at my perspective lines out to there and I'm going to draw a line to that surface. So I can see that's the distance. Now I'm going to Continue that into the mirror shape, and that's going to give me a surface. So you can see that's mirroring this plane. You see this plane here. If I follow this one through, I should get a line around about here. And this is where I would, you know, adjust a little bit. It can get out. So once I've got my main shape, we just And, um, use our use your logic 
and work out how the reflection would go. Okay, so in this case again, we can use the um, rotational axis up to the surface. That's the surface, right, from the bottom. From the top, the surface is there. Then I double that distance in to the mirror space. There's an estimation is fine. You know, a reflection is not, it's really just about getting, making this surface look um, shiny. So a certain amount of precision is necessary, but you can often bluff it a little bit. Okay, um, and it's going to be, this shadow is going to be here, of course. And if the light's coming from here, then I can assume that this is, surface is also in some shadow. So that will be a little bit darker. Okay, so in that way, you can um, make either a vertical surface reflective or a horizontal surface reflective. Um, sometimes it's also possible to do it when you don't see anything. So we could just see a product and you can make suggestions of reflections. Um, often you'll see in screens a vertical line coming straight through. That might be the reflection of a window or something like this in the background, which can easily be done like that. And that's a, a nice way, easy way to make something look a little bit um, shiny. So then you get this being a hint or a suggestion of a reflection. If I wanted to make this again reflective, so you'll go down, 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 um, this distance and okay so that's really the basic theory of reflections Sometimes if it looks a little bit too, um, you know, like it could be just hollow, what you can do is, is draw a few hints of a surface through these reflection shapes. So um, something like this. Okay, we'll leave it at that.